I'm Elena. <laughs> and this is Ryan. In 2017, we left the UK on our first boat, Kitty Wake. We lived on Kitty Wake for two years. Then, Skua came along. She's a Tayana 37 from 1976. We live on Skua on a budget and work online to keep traveling by sailboat. In 2020, we crossed the Atlantic Ocean to the Caribbean. Thank you, Vicky. Now, we're exploring this beautiful part of the world. Good morning! Today we are going to go and explore Kariaku a little bit more. We are going to go around to the other side of the island and have a look around. So we're gonna go just a few nautical miles, two, three, four nautical miles up along the coast. The first anchorage nearby is Sandy Island and it looks incredible but it's just more balls so if we can find one we'll probably stop and um, just stay there because it's a national park if there's no more balls then we're just gonna keep going until Hillsborough and anchor there and it's uh, all meant to be really really spectacular so we're really looking forward to it excited to go have a look around yeah Karyaku. It looks like there's some really cool little like tiny uninhabited islands some of which are dive sites mm. but hopefully in like snorkeling depth so they should be really cool they're supposed to be really spectacular uh, I think normally they do a lot of like uh, day trips around there for the tourists but obviously with Covid there's not many land-based tourists here at the moment so it's great for us <laughs> yeah it should be should be cool to um, go and explore there's supposed to be one of the islands is supposed to have a lot of nurse sharks Mm -hmm. and one of them is just supposed to be like an amazing island called Sandy Island so it's gonna be really cool um, and it's so close as well I we'll just nip around there and if the anchorage is rolly or mooring field is rolly we can always pop back but yeah. hopefully we'll be able to spend a few nights there and explore Hillsborough Town's supposed to be really good as well so there's no reason not to be around there enjoying it especially as the most recent threatening tropical wave stroke storm system has just like uh, curved off way north into the Atlantic Yippee! which is really nice <laughs> big but, sigh of relief huh? Mm, there's a lot going on out there at the moment though yeah, I think there's the like other. six systems and Bermuda is about to be hit by a hurricane so mm. poor Bermuda hope yeah. um, everything's all right there I doubt there'd be that many boats there at this time of year but yeah. obviously there's still people on land who are gonna suffer from it yeah but we seem to be lucky at the moment right let's go yeah One of the things that we didn't really expect from hurricane season was lack of wind. So for example today and the last three days have been totally windless and the sea has been super flat which is not very typical of the tropics but because all of the um, tropical storms and tropical depressions and hurricanes are passing just east or northeast of where we are they are sucking out all the wind so the wind here goes either from the south or it totally disappears which isn't super great for sailing or for staying cool i'm sweating like a pig <laughs> i apologize but there's literally no way of avoiding it without a breeze and um yeah so for that reason we can't really sail but uh, i think our maximum distance today is five nautical miles so i'm sure you'll forgive us
This is Mambuea Island. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, sorry. And it's uninhabited and it's uh, home to a really, really cool dive site which we hope to free dive. Here comes Sandy Island. Wow, it looks amazing. Reminds me of the Tobago Keys. When we arrived into Sandy Island, we saw that all the mooring balls were taken and the anchoring area, which is in perfect sand, had plenty of space. So we dropped the hook there. Not too bad this place, huh? <laughs> Quite a big bay. Yeah. Bigger yeah, than huge. I thought for some reason. Huh? <laughs> oh, I can see the bottom and it's seven meters. That's amazing. Yeah. Maybe a current. Oh yeah? <laughs> Pretty stunning view for a, a Sunday lunch. Yeah. So we'll go to Sandy Island and snorkel this afternoon after lunch. I think so, yeah. Like uh, wait for an hour and then go over and take the dinghy and snorkel over there. There's quite mm. a bit of a current, so it'd be better to go by dinghy, I think. Yeah, that'd be cool. There's loads of wrecks around here, but I think they're mostly quite deep, which mm. is a bit annoying. But I think it'd be an amazing place to go diving. Yeah. So we're off snorkeling. We are gonna go kind of around here. There's a nice reef over there. And yeah, hopefully there's something cool to see. Exciting. Chunky line and it's really it's fine. We're not gonna have a Tobago Key situation. No, no, it looks good. It's just a bit. It's just hard to spot. Yeah. It's like a tiny it's little white thing on the top. Yeah. All right, it looks promising. Shall I just uh, pop in? A quick look. Yeah. yeah. It's looking pretty good.
cool, wasn't it? Varied. Fantastic. No particular spot was like blowing me away, but like it was all really nice. It's very different from anywhere else we've been, I think. Yeah. Uh, it's not going to learn this. We saw that big trevally, that was cool. Yeah, really cool. I don't know. I think it might be tough, I hope it did. What did it look like? The camera did it. Super chunky. A bit like a tuna. Look kind of taller but, than a tuna? Yeah. Like. Yeah. More vertical than a tuna. Uglier than a tuna. A lot uglier than a tuna. <laughs> Tunas aren't that pretty. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it was, it was great. It was nice to practice Apparently there's loads of hermit crabs in the evening so we're going to go see them and fly the drone. It's literally just a strip of sand and there's loads of palm trees and a few other bits of vegetation and on the other side there's conch shells. I think they try to protect the sand from erosion. This place is so alive, so many birds, it's unreal. <laughs> there's lots of pelicans, lots of terns. Really cool. Oh, he's so cute. He's tiny, huh? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> he must be about ready to upsize, though. Size up. Yeah. Oh no! He's fine. Oh. Don't worry, these guys are tough. <laughs> he seems so busy, like he's got somewhere to be. Oh yeah, big time. That's cool, yeah. huh? Yeah, oh no. <laughs> he's got a nice little shell. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up or leave a comment. Join us next Monday for a new video.